Okay, so I did a thing a while back on Elon Musk and his brain chip thing that he was trying to do. And so they put it in the monkey, which I thought that was illegal. You can't. Okay. I guess not, because they did it. I thought you couldn't do tests on animals and things of that nature, but anyway. Um, outside of lab rats. Well, anyway. So they did this thing where they implanted the chip inside of the brain of a monkey. And he was playing pong, ping pong, whatever you want to call it, with his brain. Slippery slope or a good thing? That's all I really want to know. See, here's the thing about artificial intelligence. Well, no, there's the thing about alien life. People are so excited to meet the aliens, or they believe they've already met them, or they believe we are them. Whatever your belief is on aliens, here's one thing I do propose. What you should hope for is that they don't behave like we do. And the reason you should hope they don't behave like we do is because they would be a lot more intelligent than us. Because they were able to figure out how to get from their world to our world. We can't even get to the moon and live there. And yet they traveled all the way through time and space to get here. And you think that they want to come have a conversation with you and adapt to your society. Even though your society would be beneath theirs because they know how to space travel and we don't. So, is this something people really want to do? Is this something you really need to do? Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Okay. Seven of Swords, Page of Cups, Ten of Swords. So I think something's going to go wrong with this in particular experiment um, in the early stages because this is this is um, this is new with the computer chip thing. Because here's my thing. This is why I want to know the slippery slope. So the computer chips are basically probably talking to each other or whatever the case may be. I don't know how all that works. I'm really, I'm interested, but kind of not at the same time, but I am interested. Um, my fear is if you can start to manipulate things with just your thoughts, where does that end? Who gets the say so on what it is you do? who gets to say so on what it is you can manipulate and anyway but there is something here with the ten of swords and seven of swords that kind of goes wrong with this in particular experiment something goes wrong in the plan however Right now, it's not at risk of getting out of control with the Six of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. It's not like he is going to bring rise to the planet of the apes and they're going to overthrow us or nothing like that. Because the Six of Cups is telling me he's still in his infancy. It's still sort of like a child's brain. So it's not like he's, he's not doing algebra right now. But that's coming. The Knight of Cups and the Two of Wands, Six of Swords, they are going to make advancements rather quickly. Um, well, rather quickly is relative. It's because, I mean, look where we are now. But in the next six years, there is going to be advancements, which is quickly to me. When you think of brain manipulation, it's quick. <laughs> but there's going to be more actions on this. This is going to develop more. Ace of Wands. 
this magic trick, if you will, it's going to continue. But I don't see slippery slope as of yet. So I guess, I don't know, this just sounds so... It's nice that you can do a thing, but you don't always need to, but... My thing is this, though. If you can do this, maybe you can cure one of the most horrible of conditions, dementia and Alzheimer's. Maybe this is the advancement we needed. Maybe this is the thing that... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that one, but no slippery slope as of yet. But as I say, we shall see.